Good morning, guys. So last night was a really cool night with the uh, meetup and everything over there in Niles. Um, but as you can see, Caesar's car is actually behind me in my garage. Well, what happened here? <laughs> so Caesar was uh, following me to drop his car off so we could work on his brakes because he's having a little brake issue with this wheel. So we were going to check it out. Well, unfortunately, on his way, the car started acting funny. Clutch, probably, hopefully, hopefully it's not anything else, but uh, we kind of had a random panic attack night. When he was coming up my hill, right at the beginning, I live two miles up a hill, and at the beginning of the hill, car broke down, he pulled over the side of the road, I noticed he wasn't behind me anymore. So I turned around, asked him what was wrong, he said, I can't run, need a tow. I drove up to my house really fast, grabbed my truck, grabbed some ratchet straps, because that's all I had, and uh, raced back down the hill. Well, I forgot the camera, so you guys are missing the hilarious ongoings of what happened with that tow. It was pretty awesome, great memory, um, but we got him up the hill and we got him into my garage. So, um, anyways, today he's coming over right now and we're gonna work on this bad boy and see what's going on. Well, it was too good to be true. The good old so oh, there we go, uh, something popped. So this is what's happening. I'm getting towed by uh, Corey. Uh, we were on his way to his house and not sure exactly what it is yet, but I think I lost clutch. I think my clutch is gone. I'm hoping it's the clutch and now my transmission. Um, but not until we take things apart and figure out what's going on, we won't know. I can't tell you for sure right now. Um, we're towing, he's towing me up his, up to his house. He lives on top of the hill, a huge hill for that matter. So we're taking it very slowly. Some of his neighbors are kind of helping. Uh, some people are getting angry because we're stopped traffic, but it is what it is. And we'll keep you guys posted. And of course we'll make a video and tell you guys what happened. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Wheels coming off. Let's see what's going on. You see how I did that, that thrust protector inside? Oh uh, yeah. If you clean it up nice, yeah. you'll see it. Alright guys, so right off the bat, it is way too loose. I could have left the tire on to show you, but this is really wobbly. This is this is not this is not right. And plus I can move the the axle nut by hand. Not cool. Cotter pin was still in there, which is a good thing, but Let's go ahead and remove it. If you had headphones, you might want to turn it down right now because this impact's gonna get loud. Got yeah, the brakes looking. Shit. Wow, oh, break this in there. Well, my drum is done. <laughs> what was that from? My drum is done. It's supposed to have splines in there. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. And it completely just... <laughs> Buggy has so, on Sunday, though, right? They don't. Oh, my God. Look at that. They're all in there. So, yeah. So... This is the this is the drive shaft, um, or the axle, that connects to the... to the uh, transmission. And it goes through here, comes out through throughout here. Your drum is what drives your tire, um, and it is completely stripped. It's this is not good. This is completely stripped out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just following along. It was, <laughs> and you can see right here through the splines. I can just pick out yep. the metal left over from the drums. So, the car's in first gear right now, running and spinning. Uh, this is the drive drum and it's spinning fine, so Caesar was worried it might have been his transmission or his clutch, and it's actually just the, the drum. The noise he heard was little grooves getting grinded off and breaking out when this was spinning it, so that's why he couldn't drive up the hill last night. So that's good because this is a very inexpensive fix. Alright, we just got back from uh, the junkyard and off of uh, one of the Beatles you're going to see in an upcoming junkyard adventures. We are able to go back and get this bad boy off. Uh, we, we failed to bring a camera, 
So you didn't see the adventure that we took to get it, but it was quite an adventure. All right, moment of truth, guys. See if it fits. Oh, it'll fit. Or not. Ow. <laughs> okay, and after attempt number two, it's on. Had to adjust the brakes a little bit. They were a little bit uh, too far out, so adjusted them back in, made some space. Looks to be good. <laughs> What'd you hit, Caesar? Ouch. <sighs> Cheetah bar, one last torque. <laughs> I'm holding it, I'm on the brake. Is that it? Yes. It We're is. there. All right, so everything seems to be good. He's going to give it a quick test drive really fast. Only problem is, we're in the rain, and he's got no wipers. <laughs> Brakes might be too tight, so we might have to adjust it a little bit right now, actually. Back inside. All right, rain has stopped, brakes are adjusted. We're gonna go round two right now and make sure uh, we are solid to go with the uh, drum replacement that we found over at the junkyard. Handbrake works. Handbrake works, that's a good sign. Rolling back better. Rolling back better. See, it wasn't rolling before, so everything was just too tight. So I had to do a quick adjustment. We went, we went inside and actually had some uh, beach whiskey. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, what, that's what took so long and that's why the sun is down now, right now. Good.